scariest motel in America. Clown Motel. I've got scratched out here once. When I was cleaning the bathroom, the curtain, it's just light. Like, you know, it was scary. What is that noise? The EMF reader is going off. Do we have a visitor? Dude, there's somebody walking behind you. Look at my light, look at my light. Motel was built over a cemetery. Four, three, two, one. What are you behind? <gasps> Hey, hey, it's been a while since we've been here. Clown Motel, it's my boy James. Uh, Last time we came here, it was cold, and today it's cold. It's cold. And we came in the summertime. We thought it was gonna be warm in the desert, and it was very, very cold. So it gets very windy here in Tonopah. Yeah, it's been a little while since we've been here. New owners took it over, and they keep changing it. And I hear they're gonna be adding a haunted house out back. It's really cool. Let's go inside and see how many more clowns they have because I did take a peek and they have even some more haunted clowns including the one that I donated it's still there all right here we go this is like so nostalgic for me it is this wasn't here before oh yeah they're adding on and making it a little bit bigger they're going to be making the museum area a lot bigger this was the front entrance right here and you could see yeah they're just expanding it out which is great great to see so oh let's see what's going on oh my god there's so many more clowns in here hey christopher Hello. how you doing buddy good, how are you? good good hey, if you guys ever want to go on a really cool ghost hunting tour it's only 10 doll hairs this is your guy make sure to ask for him he has a lot of experience a lot of the history here that i don't even know we may do that too it's gonna be fun so anything new happening here inside the museum? We now have 5,200 clowns. 5,200 clowns. 5,300, wow. Oh, 5,300. Okay, yeah, this was way different. Oh, yeah, I did mention about the haunted house. And you guys are going to start building that soon. Oh, wow. So here's Charlie. He's probably one of the most uh, famous clowns here at the clown motel bro do you know that they used to allow you to take him in your room with you nah. i swear no way. yeah the original owner from when we went because when we came here the original owner had like a little mini clown area yeah. and he would allow people like they pay like 10 20 dollars and then of course stuff that. like this started happening which is not good so they no longer allow him in rooms he stays right where he's at which i think is a good thing his hands and feet move sometimes. Have you ever caught Charlie's feet moving? Yes. You have? Yes. Whoa. It was like the freakiest thing. It was actually moving. Oh, it was like moving like, wow. Yeah, he actually moves. This one up here moves. That one? Yeah, he was moving a minute ago. Actually, if you look at him now, you can see him barely moving. He is kind of moving, okay. yeah. Yeah, see him? Whoa, yeah, he is Probably moving. He said that. He started yeah. moving. And then my tree behind you moves. The tree? Yes. No way. Yes. Hey, what's the deal with these haunted clowns that are in this glass I case? I have a couple of them. Um, these guys were in a house fire. They're the only things that survived. The I only have, things that survived? Yes. I had little Miss Polly. You guys can hold her, but people feel weird afterwards. James, you want to hold her? Sure. This, that one right there? Yes. Which one? She looks kind of uh, up right there. This one? Yep. Yeah. That's little Miss Polly. Oh, wow. She's from Haunts uh, in California. <laughs> it scared me. Be nice with her because everybody that holds her either got a headache or she feels like a dead weight. She feels like a rock. Not gonna lie, since he held her, I'm not even holding her. I feel this pressure like right in the front of my I head. I feel like it's staring into my soul. Mm hmm. I gotta stop looking at his eyes. Like, yeah, I can't, I can't look at her eyes. Yeah, she's very weird. Yeah, she even comes with her little story, too. It does feel like she gets heavier. Yeah, I told you. Wow. See? What's the story say? It says, hello, my name is Polly Pris. I come from the streets of Boardwalk at Knott's Halloween Haunt in Buena Park, California. The three clowns pictured here are my family, Mama, Lollipop, Teddy, and Bobby. 
Granny made me and took care of me for my seasons at the haunt with her. In between haunt seasons, I lived in a dark old haunt box. No fun. Very boring. I'm excited to live here now forever, surrounded by new... Keep touching heavy, bro. James keeps, like, dropping her or something. She's getting real heavy? She sure. does. All right. Told you. I'll just uh, stop here. reading that. Told you. It seems James is kind of not feeling well. No, it's, it's like I, said, I see what you mean. Like that's you weird. Hold never, it, yeah. and it's supposed to be a very light doll, huh. but all of a sudden turns out to be a rock. Like it's it gets heavy, really and then people uh, lost feeling. People passed out holding her. One little boy got sick. <laughs> he's from the hospital. He's a demon child. That was the worst night of my life when I touched him and moved him around. Oh gosh! All right, well we're not gonna touch him. Maybe James can. Mm -hmm. And here's my clown that I donated. Maybe like seven years ago, and he's haunted. Yes, he is. Yeah. Well, yeah, somebody time, gave him to me, and I brought him here. Yeah, my EMF readers go off all every night around him. Really? Mm. One thing that I love about here at the Clown Motel is if you donate clowns to them, they're not going to turn around and sell them. They have prices. Prices. They have pictures here or um, signs here that say "Donated Priceless Clowns." That's where the word mm. came from not for sale so nothing is for sale they keep everything and that's why they're expanding out to make room for more clowns that they have in storage i have three boxes of clowns if you follow me on my vlog channel i had an airbnb that was inspired by the clown motel the original clown motel and i had it decorated in clowns and i just closed it down and i thought to myself how cool would it be to donate these clowns to the place that inspired this place. Is there a hidden door behind here? Yes. Remember the movie House of a Thousand Corpses? No. Ever see it? No. Okay. It was filmed here. It was filmed here, okay. So, for anybody that's seen House of a Thousand Corpses, ladies and gentlemen. That was filmed here? Yes. There was the office door that went to the bedroom, but after people remodeled and everything else, the door is still here, but it no oh. longer goes to the other room. So, where does it go to? Uh, it just goes to the storage. Okay, so it's the storage back there. Yeah, okay. but once all this is all remodeled, this whole wall's coming down, so the storage going bye-bye. All right, fam, so before we show you our room, from what we were told, one of the more haunted rooms here, I've stayed at, I think I've stayed in that room before. It's also a very haunted room. We're going to go into a couple other rooms with our friend Christopher. He was going to do a ghost walk, because I've never really gotten all the history one thing that i did not know about the clown motel i should have probably known but i mean i had to ask around a little bit this entire motel was built over a cemetery yeah we have a cemetery next door we know about that one but i didn't know about the one that was underneath the clown motel is that why it's super haunted everybody keeps asking us why are we so haunted one people have died in the past in the rooms we were also told that possibility there's a old gravesite that we put the uh motel on now the original owner david who we're going to see out when we get out to the cemetery uh he was actually a clown collector when he passed away at the uh, biltmont mine fire his kids took his 150 clowns put it in the clown motel and changed the name from the david motel to the clown motel this is why in tonopah we have the clown motel back in the day and we're going to find out when we get out to the cemetery. Not a lot of these graves are six feet under. So what had happened was, is because they're not very deep, you actually had coffins going down the road. Every time it rained, every time there was flooding or something, something happened, you had coffins going down the street. You know, New Orleans, Katrina hit, they actually had the little markers on the coffins of who, what, where, why, and when. You know, take off the name, oh, okay, this person belongs here. Back in the day, they didn't do that. So you got washed away, you got washed away. I just noticed there's a Ouija board. Yeah, this is our exorcist room. Exorcist room, okay. Yes. Come on in. All right. Jump around the room. Oh, look at that. Right yeah. On the wall. Yes. You're in room 107. You're in the Fear Unlimited room. Let me go to my TikTok page real quick. Hey, so what room did somebody recently, like, pass away in? He told you, huh? Huh? He told you? And as everybody can see, the EMF reader is going off. I am taking out the wrinkles on the bed. Ready for this? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You have a little handprint coming in. And we just made the bed. And you got one right by you. See the little wrinkles coming in? Oh, I 
I stretched out as much as I could. Yep. People on tour get pushed out of the bathroom. I've actually had people get pushed out of the rooms. Somebody get pushed out of room 108. 107, we actually had the uh, remote get thrown on the floor. We've actually had some weird activities in that room as well. The spirit on this bed likes to be active when the light's on. When the lights turn off, she kind of disappears. But here's the kicker. We have another bed over here. Four, three, two, one. And as you can see, lights off. They don't like the bed to be made either. One of these nights, it's gonna backfire on me. So, before we even get started, you guys ready for this? No breeze, right? Flag's moving a little bit. He is from the South, he is from the Civil War. I've actually had an experience with him one night. I got a scratch on my back to prove it. And if you guys look at the tree right there, I get it back. Oh my gosh. This had. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? See if I can get it back. So there's the tree. Okay, the tree is moving. This is David, the original owner of the motel. He died in the mine fire. Before all the remodeling, this used to be the old laundry room with the window right here. This right here. So the kids used to do laundry, do their work, and they were able to keep an eye on dad. Dad got to look at his motel and see his con collection. You see how some of these grave sites are all sunk in? Like I told you guys at the beginning of the tour, a lot of coffins were getting washed away. There's three reasons why this happens to a lot of graves. One, you're talking pine boxes, you're talking wood back 122, 123, 24 years ago, okay? Wood rots, wood falls apart. So if there was a coffin here at one time, well, guess what? The wood rotted because of all the snow, the rain, and everything else. If there's no more coffin, the dirt sinks down. Number two, they were actually going to take the cemetery and move it to the other side down by the Chevron station to the new cemetery. So if you actually go to the new cemetery, you're actually going to see a lot of the grave sites that match the tombstones and the coffins and the graves because they were actually going to move the whole cemetery because they wanted to get the mine and uh, make it bigger. Then the plague hit, the fire broke out in 1911. 1911 was the last time anybody was buried out here. So somewhere along the lines, either coffins got moved because of the weather, because again, you can see they're not buried very deep. They're buried over on this side of the fence. Now, when they put in this uh, trailer park for everybody back in the day, yes, they found uh, bodies, bones, and everything else. I know in the mornings we do hear cabinets moving around. We had to stop moving our trailer. Uh -huh. Yes, we live in that trailer park. <laughs> yes, it's haunted. Yes, the EMF readers go off. Yes, I should do a tour of my trailer park. I've got scratched out here once. She is from the south, as far as I got. Every time I come out here, they either they drain out the spotlight, they shut off the... See, EMF readers off again. Oh, it's off, off. And we just had it on. Okay, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just here to communicate with you. He said, see him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you want to come down real quick, say hi. If you do not want me here, just move the flag and we're out of here. Ooh. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're out of here. Time to go. <laughs> yes. Uh, see? It almost wanted to like wrap itself around. Uh-huh. I've gotten scratched out here once. Yeah, it's still moving, guys. Oh, look at that. It's moving again. Yeah, he wants us gone. Like always, I lost my boy James. This is the room we're staying in. It's called Fear Unlimited. The way it's decorated, I mean, if you have a fear of clowns, this is where to take care of your fear of clowns. Like, could you imagine waking up in the middle of the night and having that guy staring right at you? I mean, I don't know. Do have our stuff kind of all around. It's a little dirty, a little messy, but that's okay. Got a video uploading. Internet is not the best here. If you're coming to the Clown Motel, you don't come for their high speed internet because it is, uh, I mean, you know, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There is a spirit that likes to come in here around the, around the time that we're in right now, okay? So I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to go out to the cemetery here in a second. I want to keep 
a camera rolling because yeah, see right there he likes to open this door sometimes and sometimes he likes to I don't know he hangs out in this general area during a ghost tour also somebody claimed that a remote control got thrown across the room and it was the spirit that comes in and out of here so yeah I've never encountered this spirit or this room before this is kind of like a new room to the clown motel I don't know if they added on to it or if it was a room that they remodeled and maybe they just didn't have available during the times that we were here it could have been like a manager's room who knows but yeah as I go out I'm gonna push record here actually let's go ahead and do that bam so we're recording we're gonna head out might not catch anything at all but I'll be going back and forth just to see if we do catch something over there so let's go try to find James what are you doing bro what are you doing? dude I think we're legit the only people here Oh, check this out. Huh? Look at this, like, girl out here. Have you been inside yet? Inside. In here? Uh, I think, I don't know. I might have showed some earlier. This is a spooky room. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're so messy. Look at you. That's hey, James's mess over there. through some stuff. Got give, a blind, chicken. give a blind guy a break, okay? I lost my charger cable for my lights. <laughs> what is that noise? Bro, all of a sudden. Coyotes. It is coyotes. They don't even sound like they're far away. Or what if they run into the cemetery while we're there? I've heard of that. That sounds like a pack of coyotes. Yeah. Which can be bad. So in case you didn't know, the famous clown motel, neighbors, an old cemetery pretty crazy stuff and there are talks of the clown motel actually being built right over a cemetery oh my god look at my light look at my light look at my light oh it's doing it again look this only does this in super haunted locations it starts dimming down look at that i'm not controlling the light or anything it's just and it's fully charged that's pretty crazy remember all the stuff that was back here Look, it keeps doing it. Something's messing with my flashlight. Go completely dim. Go ahead and make my flashlight go dim. Again. Make it go bright now. Wow, that's crazy. Look, it's messing with it. So you've already been here at the cemetery. I mean, we were here earlier. Yeah. It's spooky out there, man. You were walking around by yourself? I was, bro. And then I stopped at one point, and I swear to you, you could hear somebody walking in the gravel, and I did like a 360. I didn't see anything, but I haven't looked back at it yet. Pretty crazy. Well, you know what's crazy? When we were walking through here with Christopher and Rose, was his girlfriend. Oh, look. Look at my flashlight now. It's like super bright. Oh, wow. Look. That's crazy. Huh. But they noticed some footprints that weren't ours and they mentioned it he also said that sometimes you'll be out here when it's when there's snow out and you'll see like fresh prints just like appearing right in front of you I guess there was this news story being uh, well a news came out here. it was from mexico like a news outlet from mexico and they were doing a story about the clown motel and while they were here filming some footprints appeared in the snow right in front of them and they all freaked out and they got it on on camera i don't know oh dude look at this look at this look at this it's happening as i'm talking about it it's dimming again you guys like my light don't you sorry about the squiggly lines what's funny is it wasn't doing any of that earlier So a majority of the bodies that are here are from an old mining fire that happened locally. I think, what year was it? Like 1911 or something? I can't remember the year, but a lot of people 
lost our lives that day a lot. Yeah, it was like 30 or 40 miners. Yeah. And a lot of them are here, very young people. Yeah, one of the most haunted hotels ever in the whole world happens to be right down the street. As if the Clown Motel isn't itself one of the most haunted in the world. So earlier when we were walking around, Christopher showed me... I'm just going to take you right to it. This is probably the most haunted part of this entire cemetery. So it was the mining fire and also yellow fever. A majority of these, like if there's kids here, it's so it was a plague back in the in those days, and a lot of people lost their lives. A lot of kids did too. But there's a flagpole somewhere. Where's that flagpole at? Uh, oh, it's right over here. Now we were kind of like at the end of the tour. I was filming. James wasn't filming because you know just a lot of like informational type stuff. And Christopher's like all into it and he's talking about how the last time he was in front of this flagpole he got scratched. And it's not very windy. Like I don't even have my mic on right now with the little wind muff. I usually wear that if it's pretty windy out. And Tonopah is hella windy. But tonight it's not it's cold. Don't get me wrong, it's freezing cold, but it's not windy. If it was, you'd see that flag right over here. You'd see it moving. So that flagpole. What the heck was that? I ain't trying to get scratched. It's been a long time since that happened to me. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and ask. You want to ask, James? If they, can, if they can make it move? Yeah. Yeah. Can you make that flag move for us? Show us you're out here. If you don't want us out here, can you move the flag? Oh, it's it's moving. Look at this. Look, 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 look. look it's moving. Look at that. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Look at that. There's no wind either. No wind. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that movement. Wow. Look at that movement. It was just completely still a second ago. Look at that movement. Wow. Can you stop now? Wow, look at it. It's like stopping. It looks like it's slowing down. I mean, I don't know. Maybe the spirit likes to move that flag, but Christopher said that this is where he got scratched. So there must be something here that... I mean, I'm not saying all things are evil that scratch you. It could be a spirit trying to get your attention. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Moved a lot. Right when you said that. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I left a camera rolling inside the room. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Might not catch much, but... I mean, they say that there's stuff that walks around out here. There's also a man with a, I think a black hat or something, or a black cat, that's what they say. Black cat? A black cat or a man with a black hat. I can't remember what he exactly said. I know that when we were out here, remember we caught like somebody in a trench coat like walking by and then they disappeared? Oh yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that, I forgot about that like too. Right yeah, it was so cool. So any of these that have the wreaths on them are veterans. Like, you know, Spanish War, Korean War. It could be uh, Civil War. Some Civil War soldiers that were here. Let me see what this says. A veteran. Native to Hamilton, Ontario. Wow, I know where that's at. Got friends there. And, wow, cause of death is pneumonia. Alexander Thom. I'm so sad. Could you imagine building a house over a cemetery? Like, right over... Like, that's so disrespectful. Like, I don't even want to walk. Like, over these graves. Like... Dude, there's somebody walking behind you. You don't hear that? Shh, shh, right there. Bro, you don't hear that? I don't see anything. Do you see anything? Bro, this is what happened to me earlier. Well, this is supposedly one of the hot spots, too. James and I were just walking right now. 
and like it sounded like there was a third person kind of walking next to us and like it just it just sounded weird it sounded actually like four or five people and then i tell them to stop and you could hear like faintly like another set of footsteps i don't know maybe i'm crazy maybe it was an animal maybe it was a rabbit walking or something almost want to see if there's any fresh footprints i mean we were walking over there um i see a print right there oh there's some footprints right here it's so weird it like you have a hotel right next to the cemetery i guess the neighbors with the cemetery that was a freaking gunshot dude oh, that was a gunshot. It almost sounded like it came from the cemetery area too Oh, you know that there's soldiers buried in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Like Civil War soldiers. That almost sounded like a musket ball. Like oh, the did, old school. Right? You're actually right. It did. We need all them gun professionals out there. Yeah, look, that did not sound like a regular gun to me. It sounded like something old. We did hear coyotes out here, though. Maybe somebody was trying to shoot them. Maybe somebody using a old school gun. Who was eating sunflower seeds? Uh, oh, it was you, huh? Bro, if you ever go on a road trip with James, this is how he rolls right here. You just spit one at me? Bro, come on. Dude, my hands are so cold. Like, oh. Uh, yeah, a set of gloves this whole time. Hello, oh guys. Oh my gosh, bro, look. What? Look, somebody got into my stuff. They made a mess with my stuff. <laughs> Click later. Hey, remember we were upstairs and the guy was, he like straightened out the sheet and he was like, check this out. And then you could see a handprint oh, yeah, yeah, appearing, yeah. you know, it was pretty cool. I think that could happen in here. I don't know. Let's try. Let's straighten this out as much as we can. <sighs> like it was like super tight. Damn. <sighs> All right. Just gotta sit back. See if you see a handprint up here. Can you make a handprint up here? Is that a black light? Yeah. <laughs> I know where James is going with this. Why do we gotta do my bed? Let's do your bed. What is that right there? Oh, start. Here, let's turn the light off. Oh, what is this? Look, there's some like shit on the floor. Look. Is that blood? Dude, look. There's like a lot happening. That down there. Whoa. Look at this. I wonder if that's blood. Could be. Hold on, let's check in the let's check in the bathroom. Oh my god, the toilet is so dirty. Oh my god. Dude, ill. Oh, ill. Oh gosh. All right, look, we're not trying to make your hotel look bad, um, whoever. But maybe they need to spray some bleach on the toilet a little bit, and then use yeah, a black light. Was on that uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, shower looks okay, uh, except for there. Oh my God, bro, why? Shout out the old light. Make some good lights. What is this? It's like something glowing right there. I want to check out what was that. You know what though? Look, this could be just like paint. Cause, sure. yeah, I mean, I don't know about the toilet, but that like, see how their eyes are glowing? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, probably. All right, you're going to move the sheets? Yeah. Hey, we got to give it up to the Clown Motel. Mm -hmm. Their sheet game is on fleek. Now, do you dare go underneath the sheet and check the mattress? <laughs> uh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. I mean, like, what is this? Sh oh, what the fuck was that, bro? Oh. Look at your jacket. Your oh, jacket's no. all dirty. Oh, no. Get away. Well, he probably got boogers and snots on. <laughs> yeah, let me wipe it on you. Ah! All right, let's check out your bed. Actually, I'll take your bed. No, no, sheets are really clean, man. Gotta give it to him. Yeah. What's all the stuff on the carpet, though? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like there's... 
Like, what is that? Maybe it's paint or something? I don't know. Oh, there's like a very noticeable stain down there. Oh, dude, the the paint on the wall is so cool in a black light. Oh, wow. Like, look at that. Like, the eyes are glowing. Yeah, that's dope. Dude, that is incredible. Like, why don't they have black lights in here? That would be cool. Like, look at this. That is so dope. What kind of flashlight is this? Olight. Olight. Big shout out to Olight. Oh, <gasps> bro. Did you know that somebody did this? There's a fam sticker there. Uh -uh. Is that that's is that one of your stickers? Wait. Right here. I just noticed that. That is one of my stickers. What the hell? Wait, what? You put that there. No, I swear to you I didn't. You sure? Did you? No. Bro, oh. I did not put that there. I do have some of those in my bag, but I swear to you I didn't put that there. Oh, you look weird. Oh, oh, With a black oh. bite? No, no, no. It's not. Look. <laughs> 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 You've been like, I don't know, kissing an alien or something. Mm, all, 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 you got like green lipstick on. Mm. What do I look like? <laughs> look at them pearly white shine. <laughs> the toilet looks pretty clean, actually. It just looks weird with the black light on. Oh, look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. Look at the door. Look. Okay. Let me see you open it. Can you open that door? Curtain's moving. Look at the curtain. Maybe it's like a weighted door. Like every time you touch it. Maybe. But I don't know. They say that there's a visitor that comes here until like 2 o'clock in the morning or so. In case you meet me like in real life, I really don't look this fat. Okay, I'm wearing a lot of winter clothes. I'm wearing like, I don't know, two sweaters. Actually, like a little thinner than, yeah. Everybody says that in real life. They're like, I thought you were shorter in person. Or I thought you were fatter. Thanks. My friends over at Chill Seekers, they design these apps. I have helped with like beta testing and I give them some ideas here and there. And I kind of help with the idea behind this. Anytime you download this app, don't just go to the app store and, you know, type Necrometer and use my link down below because it does help me out. If you're going to buy it anyways, it's, it's good because then I get a little bit of a credit for it and it helps fund trips like this because this is not free it's free for you to watch not free for us to produce i've spent a lot of money on trips like this so it is nice to be able to get a little something back with what we share but with that said there are some people like making youtube videos about like some of these apps and they're like oh we don't trust those apps they're fake and you know it's an app so they're they're listening to you and here's the thing they're th these are impossible to listen to you you have to give it permission to turn on your microphone. That's the only way you get in trouble. It's illegal. So these things are not listening to you. The spirit box also, like they, they're they not there listening to you, okay? With that said, the responses that we get, they're not always the best responses. They're, you know, it's a word bank. Sometimes spirits can manipulate them, yes, but not always, you know? So take it with a grain of salt. They are fun to use, but... They can be dangerous too, so say a prayer before and after. That's kind of what I do. Let's ask, are you in here right now with us? Incorrect. It just said incorrect. Okay, so you're not here with us? I don't know, that doesn't make any sense. You want to ask something, James? Uh, I'd like to know how many spirits are here at the Clown Motel. Yeah, it's a good question. How many spirits are here? Other than the one that we know of that is not here, according to you. Anytime I go back home, it's like a big paranormal oh, man. hangover really that we is. have. Literally go to like go to sleep. For save. Me. Save. Yeah, I'm trying to save my sleep. I don't know. See, I mean, that was kind of a random response that I don't know if it kind of. Phenomena. Phenomena. Okay. Do you have anything you want to tell us? I want to know about the stains on the carpet. Do you spirits like what they choke? Choke. The miners. The miners that died, like choking, like on smoke. Are there any miners here? Choke. Choke. Dude, it's, it, it gave me choke back to back. Fifteen. Fifteen miners. 
What? Is it true what they say about the clown motel being built right over graves? That's something that I have to know. Hotel. Hotel. This isn't technically a hotel. I never knew the difference. Do you know what the difference between a hotel and a motel? Um, I just know the motels are small. Dirt. Dirt. The miners. And of course, dirt is underneath us for people being buried. So the difference between a hotel and a motel. A hotel, you have to like go in to get to it. Like a motel, mm. like all the doors are outside. So yeah, motel like that. I'm behind it. I'm behind it. Behind what? I will be. I will be. I'm behind it. What are you behind? What are you behind? Oh! Write it. Write what? It's open. All right, the door is the same way. Unless I was the na a neighbor yeah. next door. No, bro. You don't like, think that was next door? Like somebody opening their door? Right next to us. I couldn't see it because I was over here, but. Dude, I swore I heard that door. It was like, gunk. Jeez. Scared the hell out of me. Unless somebody was knocking on the front door. We want to say. We won't stay. Somebody's knocking on the front door. Do we have a visitor? Okay. Come on in. Come on in. You can stay. You just can't stay all night long because we do got to get some rest. We're tired. Come on in. Come on in. It's cool. I think they're already inside. Yeah. You think they are? Yeah. Maybe it's time for you guys to go. I'm going to leave that door open. You can come and go. Spirit name. Spirit name. I don't know your spirit name. Uh, my name is Omar. This is James. It said right before we heard that door, like if it was a knock or if it was that door closing, we heard I'm right behind it. Right. Remember, I was right like, right behind what? Like hotel. Oh, maybe right behind the door. Right behind the door, right. Ooh. Like behind this door, like trying to come in or come out. I don't think it was that door. All right, I'm going to close it's the door. Like over there. Thank you for visiting. All right, I'm officially kind of freaked out. A couple spirits. Okay. What's your names? Really curious. Do you have Brittany. a name? Brittany. Okay, that, that's crazy. Like, instantly gave me a name. Yeah. Hmm? Brittany. Who else? Meat. Meat? Me no, actually, meat. M-E-A-T. Meat. -E meat. Like... That's weird. Well, that's what my nickname is. Omar the Meat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gosh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> rated G, rated G. Meat. Nice to meet me. Bro, that was crazy. I can't believe it. Figure. Figure. Oh, what if there was a figure? They say a figure walks in here. I want to see that figure. I'm going to turn off the lights. Then we won't see it. Well, I'm gonna put my flashlight on. Oh, it's dark. Okay. Is there a figure that's in here? You wanna play with my flashlight? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go ahead, you can mess around with my flashlight if you like. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, it turned off my flashlight. Whoa, look, and it turned it back, back on. on. Look, Whoa. I'm not messing with my flashlight Whoa, at all. Look, what the hell? I'm literally just holding it. I know you are. Oh, look, whoa, look, look. Whoa, whoa, Wow. Dude, it totally is going down. Look at that, Dude. look at that. Hold on, I'm gonna just set it down. I'm gonna set it down. Okay? No way. Okay, go ahead. Can we do that again? Do that again. Look, 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 look. There it goes. 
the way it literally went all the way off. Bro. That's not one of those flashlights that you know you loosen up no, and no. like it's this is a regular flashlight that you charge with a USB. Mess with my flashlight again if you're here. Oh, I'm waiting. I do appreciate you messing with it earlier. Shut up, James. Let me know if you like James's jokes. I didn't say nothing. Turn that flashlight completely off. Oh, oh my God, bro! I, I hate you. Oh, oh! It said readings. Find me. Find me. Oh my God! It scares me when this thing goes off like that, and you're not expecting it. Cause it doesn't go off all the time. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, dude, that was cool. All right, it's not doing it anymore. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's messing with it again. Look, bro, what the hell, dude? I'm literally, I'm just holding it in my hand. Look at that. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Like you have to hit the button for it to go into that mode like that. All right, can you do that again? I got it on the brightest light right now. Go ahead. All right, where are you? You said to find me. They say that you do like the bathroom. I don't know why. Are you in the bathroom? Yeah. See, the door's not even moving now. Thank you, dear. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it just moves when it wants to. Well, you still got my light. And it touched the light. Number four. Number four? Number four? <gasps> Could have sworn that door was moving again. Do I have to count to four? Or is it one of these figures that you like? One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four. Maybe it's this one. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's number four right there. Or massive. Massive. Okay. Kinda Did you find your light? Yeah. Kind of like not wanting to stay here tonight. <laughs> Was he... Oh, I just noticed this. It's like a woman hanging upside down. See this? Or like backwards. Alright, it's not even messing with my flashlight anymore. You gonna mess with my flashlight anymore? Alright, see? And my flashlight is fully charged. Fully charged. It's always green like that unless... When it turns red, that's when it's dying out. So it had nothing to do with my battery. Fence. Okay, I guess you're on the fence with wanting to show us your figure. Are we in any danger by staying here this evening? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of heavy in here, right? Well, you can close the door. I'm going to stay in here by myself. All right. I'm going to come right here. All right. All right. It's just me and you all alone in here. Can you do that thing with my flashlight again? I thought that was pretty cool. Go ahead and turn it off for me again. Only if you want to. I know that took a lot of energy from you, whoever you are. If it's Brittany. But I heard that it was a male spirit that's in here that comes and visits. All right. I guess you're not in here anymore? Oh! Oh! What was that? What the hell was that? Okay, you are in here. 
That's cool. Can we be friends? Ladder. Ladder? What the hell does that mean? There's no ladder in here. Okay. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. A little scared. How do you feel about the new owners that took over this place? Do you like them? Do you like what they did with the original clown motel? It didn't look nothing like this. First time I stayed here, it was very plain. If you ask me, it looks like a fun house now. It's actually kind of weird and cool and creepy. It's like spending the night in a haunted attraction. Recorder? Okay. I am using a recorder. I don't know if this was my house and somebody decorated a little bit more from what it was. I, I think I'd really like it. I think I'd really enjoy it. I'd want to come stay here more. Let me know. Obviously, you're happy here because you're still here. Oh, gosh. All right. I just mentioned another women's woman's name, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. I was, uh... Sarah. Sarah. It's my sister's name. Hi, Sarah. Pretty name. So we got Brittany, Ashley, and Sarah. I love looking in the mirrors. See anything. Can we talk about this picture here? That is so freaking cool and creepy. It's like, <laughs> yeah, whoever did that, very talented. What was that noise I heard? Was it the neighbors telling us we're being too loud? Hopefully not. All right, you're going quiet on me now. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> okay, that might have been the refrigerator that time, but I definitely heard something. In here. Oh, gosh. <sighs> what did I say? Ronald. All right, getting a lot of names now. All right, okay. Hello? All right, what was that noise I just heard? All right. There goes the door again. I'm not touching that door right now. I'm not even touching. Abigail. Oh, Abigail, more names. I think this door is kind of, well, it just does what it wants. Because sometimes it stays open, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not convinced that it's paranormal. But, I mean, there's one thing certain is we've been hearing some noises. Whether it's from neighbors or in this room. I mean, I don't know. It's still interesting. I still want to know what was messing with my flashlight. I'm going to put it right there okay all right i'm stepping away from my flashlight strategy. i guess this is my strategy yes can you come and mess around with my flashlight come turn it off for me again or is that too much to ask okay maybe Teresa. Teresa, okay, a lot of names. Some of these are my, like family names of mine. 
by Teresa and Sarah. This place is creepy. All right, grab my flashlight. Yeah, I don't know if that's James outside or what. Okay, it's James. Bro, there's all kinds of freaking noises happening in here. Oh, I keep hearing noises like all around me. This is insane. So, hey. Oh. I don't know if we're going to film ourselves sleeping in through the night because I don't have the proper camera set up to do that. However, I have, I want to want to say like two or three videos that I have done that. And if you want to see those videos, make your way to my library. I have a ton of videos. I want to say I have like five here at the Clown Motel. And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to my boy James and the Clown Motel staff for having us and hosting us. If you want to come stay here, stay in room 107. That's the room that we stayed in. I'm not promising that you'll get exactly what we got tonight, but hey, maybe you'll get better. Let me know if you do. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.